Minsan po, magandang gabi sa ating lahat. At minsan pa po, samahan niyo po ako sa pag-aaral natin ng salita ng Diyos ngayong gabi. As we continue to ponder on the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives, I will talk about open heaven. Bukas na langit para po sa ating lahat. A powerful and active Christian ministry. Alam niyo po, sa kubuan po ng buhay natin, at titingnan nun natin, remember that someone is discipling you. Hindi pwedeng wala. No, someone influence you, someone is investing in your life, and someone is believing in you. But the question is, who is discipling this generation? This current generation, who is discipling it? Alam niyo po, sa kubuan po ng buhay natin, Maaring napaka-familiar tong picture na ito. That there is a like, follow, and add, and connect. And we know that it, it is a social media. Sa kubuan po ng pamumuhay natin ngayon, for almost more than two months in, in this time of lockdown, in this time of quarantine, lahat tayo na-hook sa social media, right? Some of us are reading news through the social media, some of us also are victims of fake news because of social media. Pero gusto ko po maunawaan natin that as of May 2018, Facebook has 2.23 billion active users man. It means it is a big group of people na patuloy na nakihikayat at patuloy na gumagamit ng Facebook every month. Ano? So, based doon sa study na ginawa ng Google ngayon na ang mga tao mas nagbigay ng oras at panahon using social media in this time of pandemic. Why? This because that is the very accommodating and comforting tool para ma at peace tayo kahit papano. To have sanity in this time of crisis na kinakaharap natin. And you know what? Yung YouTube has 1.5 billion monthly active users. And some of us are some of us try to become YouTube content uh, provider, no? Uh, yung iba sa atin nagawa na ng channel, nagtry na na mag-video, maggawa ng kung ano-ano upang matry natin yung yung binibigay nitong YouTube na ito. And also, Instagram has 1 billion monthly active users. Mostly of them are Gen Z. You know, capturing pictures, posting it, having some short clips, and giving some notes na puno ng hashtags. No? Yan po yung Instagram. And it catering people na very accommodating yung app because of its very form na mag-capture ka ng picture, you edit it, have the filters, and you post it. And gain likes and comments. Other people. And recently, mostly of us are so hooked sa Netflix. No? Lato tayo siguro nanood, no? nag-try na ilang Korean novela yung tinapos nyo. No? Di ba? Uh, and sa of you, siguro naiisip nyo pa rin ngayon na may mga ongoing teleseries or Korean novelas na sinusubay mo yan kayo. Why? Kasi para at least hindi masyadong mag-isip yung kaisipan natin sa nangyayaring pandemic na ito. And you know what? 8 to 18 years old spend an average of 8 hours a day on TV, video games, and entertainment based on Kaiser study. And maaaring mas nadagdagan pa yan ngayong time ng pandemic. 8 hours to 12 hours to yung iba siguro magdamag, nanunood. No? <laughs> then, morning na natutulog, then tulog ng waga, gigising ulit ng gabi. And this new normal that we're experiencing is really bringing new things to us. At Sa pagkakataon nung yan, tanungin natin ang ating sarili, how this time of pandemic changed us? How this time of crisis bring us closer to Christ? Basahin ko po sa inyo sinabi sa Luke chapter 4, verse 16 hanggang 21. And this is what Luke 
wrote and quoted on the scripture. And he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up and as was his custom, he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath. And he stood up to read and the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given to him and rolled the scroll and found the place where it was written. And he said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind. So, to set at liberty those who are oppressed and to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. And he rolled up the scroll and gave it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all the synagogue were fixed on him. And he began to say to them, Today, the scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. You know what? During the time of Jesus, people are always desiring for an explanation, a deeper explanation of the scripture. And they are waiting for Jesus that time after he read the scripture as their culture. They are waiting for the interpretation. What's next? Maybe some of us, in this time of pandemic, in this time of crisis, we are asking the Lord, what's next, Lord? Anong kasunod? Anong mangyayari? It's going to happen. But Jesus said this very word today this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. No more explanation. He just appeared. It happened. It's now happening. You're seeing it. It's because Jesus is the fulfillment of the scripture. Jesus is the embodiment of that very praise that he read. And it's now happening to us as followers of Jesus. Now, let's look on that on every praise that he read in that portion of scripture. The first praise is the spirit of the Lord is upon me. What it is for us? Ano yan para sa atin? Actually, that is the assurance of the abiding presence of God. Yung presensya ng Panginoon kasama-sama mo, saan ka man pumunta. Isn't, isn't it comforting that there is someone joining with you, joining you in any crisis of life, He is there, knowing your real condition, knowing your real con situation. The abiding presence of God. It's an indicator of an open heaven. Simula ho nung nag-resurrect ang Panginoong Yesus, everyone who believes in the Lord Jesus Christ, nagkaroon tayo ng opportunity to come to the throne of the grace anytime, anywhere. It is now an open heaven for us. And anyone who have a relationship, who has a relationship with Jesus Christ, receive the seal of the Holy Spirit. That's why you can say to yourself, I am now the tabernacle of the Holy Spirit. Yes, you are a tabernacle of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is residing in you. The Spirit of the Lord is upon you. And if you are discouraged at the moment, remember that the Holy Spirit is in you. He is there comforting you, encouraging you, and giving you hope sa sitwasyon ngayon na meron tayo. Alright? That's why it is so profound what Jesus first read in His ministry. A portion of the scripture reminding all the people that the Spirit of the Lord is upon you. And the same words is applied to those people who have Jesus in their lives. It is also living under the leadership of the Holy Spirit. So the question is, are you listening to the Holy Spirit? To the Holy Spirit's prompting, to the Holy Spirit's conviction sa kabwa ng buhay mo? Sa so pagkakataon ngayon ng pandemic, mas mag nagkaroon ka ba ng malalim na realizations? Mas malalim na pagtuon at pagtingin sa iyong sarili upang patuloy na maranasan mo at makilala mo ang Panginoong Yesus sa buhay mo. Christian life is a life living under the power of the Holy Spirit. Lahat to tayo bilang mga Kristiyano, bilang mga takasunod ni Christ Yesus, we are living under the power of the Holy Spirit. The question is, are we tapping that kind of power 
so that we can experience the activation of that power in our life every day. A true follower of the Lord Jesus Christ is willing to be consumed by the personhood, by the character of the Holy Spirit. As we celebrate this Pentecost Sunday, it is an opportunity for us to commemorate on how the Holy Spirit filled up the first disciples of Jesus and gave them the power to preach the gospel and live a life worthy of their calling. For us, in our generation, the question is, how aware, how aware are we to the working power of the Holy Spirit that is in us? It also said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me. Jesus Christ is the anointed one. And He anoints those who believe in Him. Through what? Through the indwelling presence of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is the anointing that we receive and that we need to activate in our life. Inanggap natin at kailangang mag-function, gumalaw sa buhay natin. We need the anointing of the Holy Spirit to do the ministry, to face every day, to face all life's challenges, and to experience His power and to accomplish His purpose to our life. And to accomplish the great commission that He gave to us. Alam mo kapatid, maaaring iniisip mo, paano ko i-overcome yung mga struggles na meron ako ngayon? Paano ko kakayanin ng bawat umaga sa sitwasyon ngayon? Remember that God anointed you with His Spirit. Remember that when God anoints you, there is a task to accomplish. Kung nararanasan mo ngayon, discourage ka, ask the Lord, Lord, strengthen me. Give me courage. Give me hope. Empower me at this moment because I need you, Lord. I need you. It reminds us of the very task that we need to do as we live here on earth. We can see to proclaim the good news to the poor what kind of ministry is that? It's a compassion to help and uplift the poor. Maaring sa pagkakataon ito, gusto mong tumulong, gusto mong may magawa sa mga taong nagihira. Hindi po aksidente yan. The Lord is just opening your mind and your eyes to see that there is a opportunity, an opportunity to proclaim good news to the people who are hurt, to the people who are poor. And God is creating that kind of compassion to help and uplift the poor in your heart. Second na makikita natin is also He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives. Anong ministry ito? It is a ministry of coaching those who are captives to experience freedom. It means we become comforters, counselors to those people who are in pain, who are in bandages, so that they will find hope and have freedom in this life challenges, in this life bandages. Why? Because when the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And because you experience freedom, God can use you to bring freedom to others. And recovering of sight to the blind. One thing na kailangan nun natin tingnan bilang katawan ni Christ Jesus is to cultivate visionary and godly leadership. Cultivate visionary and godly leadership. In this generation, many are so fixated of what's going on on this present time. But the question is, how God is forming us to see the future 
what is what lies ahead what we can do today so that we can achieve the things that God prepared for us in the future we need to establish the kind of culture to cultivate visionary and godly leadership people who are seeing big pictures seeing what lies ahead and doing their part at the present and staying intimate with God, doing good and godly things, so that when the time comes that God prepared to do it, to accomplish it, to manifest it, they are ready. They are ready to lead. And the other thing that Jesus said, as he quote from the book of Isaiah, is to set at liberty those who are oppressed. It means we need to conquer oppression and mental health problems. You know what? There is a study that says, after this lockdown, after this quarantine, one of the crises that we're going to face is the mental health problems. And I pray as you listen tonight, that the Holy Spirit is encouraging you, empowering you, strengthening you to give you the mental strength that you need. Yes, there's stress, there's a crisis, there's anxiety, but may we always put our hope in God. We just need to be open to the Lord. Yes, Lord, I am so anxious today. Lord, nahihirapan ako ang bigat ng nararamdaman ko. Lord, pwede bang tulungan mo? You just need to be honest in our prayers. The more that we become honest, the more that we can feel the working power of Jesus in us. So conquer oppression and mental health problems. I do not know what's going on to your heart, to your mind. But the Lord knows it. The Lord knows your struggle. That's why it is so important to draw near to Him. Jesus knows you very well. Come to Jesus and experience the peace that you need, the strength that you are asking for. And to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor, there is now a new conquest to proclaim the gospel to the nations. And you know what? One thing that we are so thankful that through this pandemic, we start this kind of ministry, this online ministry. And we praise God for this opportunity. He allowed us to use technology. He allowed us to, to use the internet connection so that we can continue to be connected to you or with you. And in that sense, isang bagay na pinapakita ng Panginoon, the ministry is growing. The ministry is there. You just need to do it. You just need to do it. Ano man yung bagay na nakikita mo na may pangailangan, kapatid? Maybe, God is calling you to do it. God is calling you to do it. And let me end this sermon by saying, that the world needs hope. And the hope can be found to the Word of God, through the Word of God, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. And the career of the Word of God is the church. And the need of the church is radical leaders who lead a godly and visionary leadership. Yes, in this time of pandemic, in this time of crisis that we are facing right now, the world needs hope. We are battling against mental health problems. We are battling against different crises. But remember this. There is always hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. There is always hope in Him. In this time, that we continue to commemorate on the working power of the Holy Spirit and how He established the church in the book of Acts. The same power that is available 
in the disciples during that time is the same power that is also available working in you and through you. Remember this, that the heaven is open for you. And God can use you mightily. God can use you in accordance to His will and plans. Do not lose hope. Always put your hope and trust in the Lord. God is doing great and something new in your life. His abiding presence is there. Working over your family, your life. And let me pray for you. As we take this time to ask the Lord to empower us, to empower us once again. Let us be reminded that His abiding presence is there, working in us, working in us to be formed to the likeness of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Father God in heaven, we come to you right now. We ask that you continue to speak to your people. I ask, Lord God, that you continue to touch them one by one who is joining us tonight. I ask, Holy Spirit, that you empower them. You strengthen the weary soul. You revive the spirit. You give peace to a troubled mind. And Lord, continue, Lord God, to give rest to a weary body. I pray right now in the name of Jesus that let the power of God manifest in their hearts manifest in their lives right now. Holy Spirit, I ask you that you minister to them. I ask that you continue to manifest your presence to those who are watching right now. You touch them right now, Lord. Be touched by the Lord. Be touched by the Lord. And I pray, Lord, right now that you continue to manifest your power. Heal those who are sick. Not just, Lord, those who are physically sick, but those who are emotionally hurt. I pray, Lord God, for healing, healing of the soul and spirit. I pray, Lord God, for strength of our mind. You release your presence over their lives. Lord, you said on your word that you are the God who heals us. And you're the God who is working in us and through us. And where your spirit is, there is freedom. Lord, to those who are troubled right now, to those who are experiencing that kind of bondage, I declare freedom in Jesus' name. May they experience the freedom that comes from you in the name of Jesus. To those, Lord God, who are asking for direction, I pray, Holy Spirit, that you direct them, speak to their hearts, that they may experience your power and be more conscious to your presence. Lord. Lord, I also pray to those who are praying for breakthroughs. I pray right now, Holy Spirit, that you start to open up, open up their hearts, open up their spirit, and start to create breakthroughs to their lives. You give them wisdom. You give them, Lord God, wisdom, Lord God, how to create wealth. You give wisdom, Lord God, how to manage their time and their finances. How to manage their resources. You empower them, Holy Spirit, and give them more desire to know the Lord Jesus Christ. To give more desire to serve you and to find joy and contentment in you, Lord. Salamat mo, Panginoon, na patuloy kang pumikilos at gumagalaw sa kabuhan po ng buhay ng bawat isa. Lord, kita niyo po ang kalagayan ng bawat isang nanunod ngayon. You touch them right now. They may continue to experience you and know you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Salamat po, Panginoon. Salamat, Banal na Spirit, na patuloy kang nararanasan na patuloy kang kumikilos sa kubuhan ng buhay ng bawat isa. Let your power flow and let 
your spirit continue to fill us up. Continue to give us the breath of life. And may our spirit who are thirsty continue to drink on that living water. And to our weary body, continue to be strengthened by the fire that comes from you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Patuloy kayong maluwalhati sa uban ng aming mga buhay at patuloy naming naisin na makilala ka sa bawat araw ng buhay namin. Na ang samat panalangin namin sa pangalan ni Cristo Jesus. Amen. Amen. Once again, we thank you for joining us in this evening service. May the Lord continue to bless you and keep you and may His face shine upon you and give you peace. Have a blessed weekend, weekdays. Have a blessed week ahead. God bless you all.